The Somnia team promotes equity and inclusion in everything we do, and it shows in our leadership. In fact, over half the leaders in our C-suite are women. We know this helps drive innovation and is fundamental to the success of our anesthesia business. We're fortunate to have some phenomenal women working at every level of our organization. Listen to some of them share qualities they think are essential to good leadership. So my mother inspired me. She was um, an administrator in education for 35 years and was able to do a little bit of everything. Not only have a full-time job, but have a full-time family as well. And she inspired me to, you know, keep going and do everything I possibly can to be the best I could be. Balancing work life and responsibilities. I know that's tough for everybody, but I'm extremely fortunate. I have a, I work for a wonderful organization that helps me balance that out, um, gives me the opportunity to work from home when I need to, as well as take the time that I need for my family. So I consider myself truly blessed. I quickly thought of the importance of the team, networking, relationship development, and emotional intelligence. Leading with empathy and emotional intelligence is very hard to teach, but it's critical in leadership and change management. Being a leader doesn't mean that you're the smartest person in the room. Recognizing and encouraging others and promoting others as experts gives them the trust and the autonomy to be creative and to do excellent work. You, as a leader, provide the direction so the work contributions of the team is successful. All of these attributes result in people feeling engaged, cared for, and valued. And I think that's one of the most important lessons that anyone can learn in being a leader. Mentoring is one of the things I enjoy most about my profession. My first mentoring experience was being a clinical instructor. Not only is it fun working with new students who are excited about this new adventure in their career, but it's also how much you can learn from them and what they've learned in school and putting the, the didactic into action and clinical skills. My favorite part of providing lectures is the discussion that occurs after, learning where people are from and, and what they do in their settings and how maybe I could have impacted them by what I shared with them that day. In my role at Somnia, one of the things I enjoy best is mentoring new chiefs of anesthesia, whether they're nurse anesthetists or anesthesiologists. Thanks for listening to these amazing women. To learn more about us, follow us on our social sites.